Hi, we're Stephen and Jess, and up until 2020, our days looked more like this and this before our lives completely changed and we had this. Meet Little Hunter. <laughs> so after spending the summer converting the van into a tiny house, we packed up our home and moved into it full time to travel around Australia. In the last episode, we said our goodbyes to Western Australia as Hunter took her first steps into the Northern Territory. So let's continue the adventure. So for today's driving mission, we didn't really have a plan. All we knew is that we wanted to get into the NT. So we crossed the border and then we were like, okay, let's just drive until we find the next town and then we'll just stay there the night. Of course we're in Australia, so the next town we saw was in three hours. So three hours later, we got to a place called Timber Creek and there was one caravan park came and we're like, hey, do you guys have a spot for tonight? And they were like, yeah, okay, we have a spot. It's on the grass, really nice, but you are gonna be sleeping next to back and uh, a massive croc. Are you even at a caravan park in the Northern Territory if the local activity is the 5 p.m. croc feeding? Yeah, yeah. We do have a big male, he's about 2.9 meters. He's probably up there on the bank if he hasn't moved since the last couple of days, or he's probably bathing somewhere else. <laughs> Hunter's having a dinner and a show. Oh, this meal? Then you know how big a fresh you can get. And still they're tawny. Is there any bar or any? Do you see the crocodile? Look at him. Five bases in the water. No, you just see him charging up to get a feed, so. They're very smart, they know. They know I'm coming here. sitting back, watching mum do the cooking. I feel like she's got a little audience and she's on MasterChef. <laughs> what have you done here? I like how I told you to go find a nice spot by the water, but don't be too close to the crocs. Um, and don't be too close to the bats. <laughs> yes, no, this is a good spot. So what's on top? It's the first time having tofu, I think. Oh, oh it's a hit. It's a finger grabbing hit. Satay tofu. Well, she was judging me as master chef. <laughs> Thoughts? She is, um... I think I got the chef's approval. She's loving it. Hello. <laughs> All right, Hunter. So what we need to do every time mom brings us food is we need to ask her, how did she make this food? What is the food? I think Hunter's saying, guys, why are we having dinner right now next to a big croc? We just watched him jump into the water. <laughs> but I made satay tofu. It's pretty easy. It's just you marinate the tofu in garlic and ginger. And then you put dried garlic and ginger in a pan, a hot pan, and then you add onions, and then you add the marinated tofu, and then you add the broccoli, and then you mix it all up, cook it all up, and then you add satay sauce, and then you've got dinner. Very easy, except it was my first time cooking onions and garlic in a van. Eyes got sore. What do we think? Eyes got sore, but makes a pretty good meal. Dad, crocodile over there. <laughs> I'm guessing we're sharing. I have her bowl. Oh. Also realized something so weird. Yesterday, the sun was setting at five o'clock and now it's setting at 6.30. <coughs> Time zones. Time zones, Hunter. Someone is loving. Someone's cooking. <laughs> I find so hard to say to you to learn with your hopes and more. Good morning everybody. So last night was just a routine stop out here in the middle of nowhere, just somewhere to crash so we can get to our next spot. But whew, did I have such a good sleep last night. With the time zone difference meant the sun came up at 7, which meant everybody got up at 7. Man, man. 
ones in log huts, scars and both eyes and marks from bare claws. A dull lot, a quiet wild life, cut the shape to match the demand the pines. Like it's not the free man. Oh, like it's not aware of what it's like to be in the middle of a bullseye when everything's out of control. So I said sometimes I wish to live life in complete denial. Okay, so after a three hour drive, <laughs> Hunter is excited because we have finished driving. We drove three whole hours today, basically right, I'm straight. Coming in, I'm coming in, I'm coming. And we've just arrived at a spot called Catherine and uh, Hunter doesn't know this yet. We scored the last spot at this caravan park and it's a popular one because here there is a little walking trail and at the end of the trail is a hot spring. She oh. is going to be so excited. I feel like we need to put plenty of time aside. Hunter, did you know there's a hot spring here? Do <laughs> <laughs> you think I got the chance? <laughs> it ain't gonna waste. <laughs> Honey tripping romance. <laughs> the hours are thick. I Sorry. told you there was hot springs. How <laughs> beautiful is this? It was all free. You just come and swim. This is so Sorry, Hunter. Cool. Wanna come see the edge of the waterfall? Honestly, over the last week we've done some pretty big drives and we were feeling a little burnt out. So taking a dip in the Catherine Hot Springs was just the refresher we needed. Plus, I think we found Hunter's Dickley spot, which washed away all those long days. And one, two, three, go! <laughs> Are you wearing dad's top? What do you got on? Ooh. What do you got on dad's top? Came back from the natural springs. Wanted to take dad's top and now just won't stop wearing dad's top. It's okay. It looks better on you anyway. Against all odds, wearing dad's oversized top, two doggies in hand, this little one decided these were the ideal conditions to practice her walking, taking the most steps she has done so far. <laughs> Hi mama, you're doing so good. <laughs> you're walking. Just walking. Look at this. Hello. I <laughs> love your first steps in my shirt. <laughs> wow, you're doing so good. Hi. Oh, back to people. You're doing so good. <laughs> Shall we make it a bit easier for you? So Catherine isn't just known for its refreshing hot pools, they also have an incredible gorge. It's located in Nittmalak National Park, so we're headed there today and I think we're going to get there just before sunset, so we might attempt a hike and this is going to be my first hike with Hunter going uphill most of the way, so um... This is going to be the hardest one yet. I feel like whenever we decide to do a big hike, she has to bring some sort of friend along with her. <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs> Just when you thought it was an okay hike. So beautiful getting glimpses of the gorge as we're going up. We haven't seen it because we're kind of saving it. Not even at the top yet. We've made it to the top. <laughs> Pretty good spot for sunset, I think. Look at that. <laughs> 
Let's hold tight onto Care Bear. Wow. Pretty high up, huh? <laughs> Come to the, the There's a lot of walking up here. <laughs> I think it is. We just wanted to say a massive thank you to Zero for teaming up with us on this video and keeping our small business running, especially as this financial year comes to a close. So if you're a sole trader yourself or thinking of starting a small business, we would highly suggest you go and check out Zero for all your accounting needs. So when we first started Flying the Nest, it was literally just a place to share our travels with our friends and family. We hadn't even thought about it as a business. So as it slowly grew, we were completely lost. We had no idea what to do. I remember back in the day, I was literally running an Excel spreadsheet trying to keep track of everything and it just took up so much time. Now with Xero, there's an easy to use mobile app which we can easily take pictures of receipts as well as create invoices on the go, which is amazing, especially when my office is our living room at the same time. So right now when we are literally thousands of kilometers away from our accountant, he can easily just tap into our zero and finalize our return, which is amazing whilst we drive around Australia. So if you are interested in zero solving your small business needs, just like it has for us over the last few years, make sure you check out the link in the description below. So tonight we're staying in the national park at the campgrounds just here and... This, I think what I'm thinking. this actually we just found out we've been so lazy there's a restaurant at the campground who wants to cook after a hike okay so I think we need to head to that campground restaurant and, and get actually, some tucker I also saw the pool doesn't close till eight oh I know should we jump in oh yeah <laughs> are you just in your clothes <laughs> Is so refreshing? So, just jump, in, just jump in. Just jump in. I'm in my clothes. I don't have anything on me. Ready? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What's she doing in her clothes? Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> There was one last stop here in Catherine that was worth getting up before the sun. A cruise down the beautiful Nitmalak Gorge, and as the sun slowly rose, so did the sheer drop cliffs surrounding us. Good morning everybody, it's the next day and we've woken up so nice bright and early to get the sunrise cruise down the gorge and wow, the sun could be awake somewhere, we can't see it yet, but we had this beautiful moon as we were cruising down the gorge. So beautiful, but we've just stopped off. We're gonna go down two of the gorges and our first stop is in front of some incredible rock art. Do you see all the rock art all through here? Look, yeah. it's right there. So wow. beautiful. How is it still here today? That's amazing. Hello. They said it's almost 10,000 years old. Wow. And it's more of just saying a story of what type of food was in the area so when the locals were living here they painted it what type of food you could expect wow not the worst place to wake up to oh pretty good so there's 13 gorges that make up catherine gorge we're going to be lucky enough to see two of them today and well the first stop just towering over us either side that was the most beautiful way to end our time here in Catherine. But today we're spending the rest of the day driving all the way up to Darwin, which means the next time you see us, we'll be in Darwin about to make the journey all the way down to Alice Springs. So if you're new around here, make sure you hit subscribe, give this video a like, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.